Y'all see that? Do y'all see this? Do you see it? This is the pinnacle of esports. You see that arena? You see how many people were there? You see how many people watched this game? I I got y'all right here, man. Hold on, Twitch.tv. You all see how many people watch this game? You see how many people cheer for this game? You see how they filled up that arena? Do you see how they get respect on Twitch? Do you see how... Check this out. Do you see how stable their servers are? They got an entire analyst desk, a real analyst desk, a real arena, a real everything. Is this what 2K is going for? Huh? This is what you're competing with in esports. This is the pinnacle of esports. This and Dota. I couldn't find any Dota clips, but it's crazy. Look at this. 18,000 viewers right here. Why? Because the best player in the fucking world is playing right now, and he's got 100,000 viewers. Okay? You see this? This man, Faker, is the best League of Legends player in the world. Period. Bjergsen might be second or third. Who, who the fuck knows? This man is the best in the world. He got 100,000 viewers. He streamed for the first time yesterday or the other day and had like 300,000. Look at this. All the way down. Cutie Pie ain't on right here. Cutie Pie normally, uh, normally around 200. I mean, 23. Night Blue normally around 23. The whole point that I'm trying to make is that game right there is the pinnacle. And this game ain't fucking with that. I don't even think the fan base is the same size. And I know a lot of people go, hey, 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 League of Legends is free to play. It's this and that. Yeah, but I guarantee you the average person that plays League of Legends spends a couple hundred, you know, they just spend probably a, a thousand at this point on the game if they play a lot. The whole point I'm trying to make is if 2K, oh, let me get my shit off the screen. If 2K wants to break into esports, the first thing that they have to do is Fix the damn servers. The one thing about League of Legends that everybody knows is the servers are very stable to the point where you bug splat. You're more likely for your app to crash and die than for you to get kicked out of a game for a server reason on League of Legends. That's just fact, period. I've never been kicked out of a game because of server reasons unless they were like, hey, we are going to update these servers right here so all clients will be gone offline at this time. That's the only time I've ever been kicked out of a game in League. Otherwise, it's been blood splatters, been something with my computer, something like that. To me, that's what that's what 2K is going to have to strive for. You're going to have to just be like, look, um, look, service, service stability. Like I said, some people were lagging out of games on, on Road to the Finals, Road to whatever. I mean, I understand that they want to get into esports, I understand that they now have that they now have a partnership with the NBA, whatever. I just don't know, like, what what did they tell them in order to get this partnership? What numbers did they show the NBA in order to secure this partnership? Normally, if you get a sponsorship or a partnership, you got to show some numbers, right? Like, they couldn't have been the Twitch numbers. They only got, like, 2,000 viewers, right? It couldn't, maybe it was just the overall sales numbers. I don't know what those are like. Maybe they're like, hey, this is how much the game generates. You know, a couple million people buy the game. Everybody that buy the game gonna spend about 100, maybe 200 on it. And uh, for every person that doesn't like me, well, I only spent, you know, maybe uh, that initial uh, $20 on some VC. You got somebody that maxed out five players and spent $200. So, you understand what I'm saying? The game is going to make money. It ain't no doubt about that, but... I just don't think the Pro-Am scene, like, it's the scene big enough. The Dota scene is huge. People want to watch people do the things that they can't do in League of Legends and Dota and learn some new stuff. Like, what am I, what's the purpose for anybody watching Road to the Finals other than, you know, people that are just really, really in the NBA 2K? I don't think that there are that many people out there. I don't think that they're going to fill arenas. Uh, I've seen, I seen where they were saying, hey, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some things where, you know, they're going to have live events and stuff like that. I don't think they're even going to have field arenas like that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even think they're going to have field arenas. And I know a lot of people like maybe in the beginning, this and that, but now I don't see it. The biggest thing is I don't think the game is that popular or popular enough 
to support the esports scene at this juncture. That's number one. A lot of people play it, but a lot of people don't watch it. A lot of people don't watch it on Twitch. I mean, the highest time you might see when you might see when Fredo or Cash is streaming, and the numbers for 2K will go up to like maybe you know 10,000. You know, normally just during the day, League of Legends got a, a hundred thousand people watching in total, right? But right now, I bet I'd be surprised if it's a thousand people watching somebody play 2K. Maybe if Troy the end is on or something like that. I just don't think it's that much interest. And I don't I understand what they're trying to say is the, the interest will, will turn over from the real NBA to this. I don't see it. I don't. I just don't. Look, uh, sixteen hundred people watching people play, uh sixteen hundred viewers are watching people play two K and you've got two hundred and forty thousand people watching people play League of Legends. Like it, it I, I don't see it though. You know, Heroes of the Storm, they have their own league, but it's because, it's because, um, you know, people like the Overwatch people. Blizzard has cake, just like Riot has cake. Like, they can support that. They can do all of that stuff, but I just I just don't see it, man. Um, one thing for certain, two things for sure, though. We're going to see who the best of the best is. It ain't going to be none of them, no more of that fronting about I'm the best, I'm this, I'm that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if you can play, you can play. If you can play, you're going to be playing. If you can't play, you ain't going to be playing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be none of that unless people just going to be like, oh, I just didn't try out because I really didn't want to play or whatever. Like, hey, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people that don't make it are going to have that. Look, I'm trash, so I know damn well I ain't going to get in there. But maybe just the fact that that people are going to get paid. I know they said they're going to have eight to ten teams in the beginning, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, that's that's how it should be. That's about how League of Legends is. But, but. That's the size of that. I think the, you know, eight to ten teams is, is probably going to be the permanent size of the league. They're probably just going to take the best people that qualify from PlayStation. What if I don't have a PlayStation? Oh, fucking well. It, it, and life ain't fair. If you don't have a degree as a chemical engineer, you're not getting a job as a chemical engineer. Life ain't fucking fair, though. So, you know, y'all can just go ahead and get that out your mind right now. Maybe you need to get a PlayStation. Maybe it's going to be on Xbox. I don't know. I got both. I really don't care what they put it on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't going to make it anyway. I'm trash. But... Like I said, though, it's gonna be, there, are, there are a lot of things to work out. When is it going to start? How long is it going to start? Obviously, it can't start in the beginning of the season, right, because nobody knows the game. So it's going to have, I mean, they put out a game every year. The reason that League of Legends can work like this is because the game is the same. They just add different players, different characters. You got picks and bands if something is broken and all of that good stuff. This game is going to be very different, very difficult to do that with because because, like, people are going to have to play the game for half the year and learn the game. What if everybody was playing? What if they started the season when the season started? You understand what I'm saying? And it was going to be a five-month season. They started when the season started, when pick, walking picks was broken. Like, so so in my, in, in my thing, they're going to have to – is this going to be just something to hype it up and bridge the gap between, you know, when 2K, when 2K is uh, dying and then, hey, we're going to put out the pro league to keep, to keep, the, uh, keep the stuff going. I don't know. Uh, the esports league. How much are people gonna make? Are they gonna take the little two hundred fifty thousand dollar prize pool and split it up amongst everybody? And you gonna make about two two three hundred dollars, I mean two three thousand dollars a month, something like that. A thousand dollars a month? Hell, maybe even five thousand a month. Who the fuck knows? I I don't know. It's too there are too many unanswered questions. I know they got a lot of people looking at it and uh, interested in it. They got just say you know you are gonna be able to get sponsorship deals. I mean that's like that's like any pro team, Team Envy, Envious, and all those guys. You know, they got their own pro uh, fear, all those. They got their own pro team, TSM. They got their own uh, endorsement deals. These used to be TSM, Snack Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, I think that's going to be on you to go get a lot of your deals and all of that. And then how are they going to find players? Like, we know that the best players are not YouTubers. Like, we already know that. We got You got players out there that, you, that, that we run into all the time, and they're just like, damn, this dude is legit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's somebody out there that's just playing the hell out of Pro-Am that's got, like, 18,000 Pro-Am games played already, and that's all they do is play and walk on. Are they going to do, like, League of Legends and just take them from solo queue? Or, like, uh, be like, hey, you know, uh, okay, these are the teams that qualified last year. We'll make a league out of these top teams, the top eight. And then after that, you know, they'll, uh, they'll have, like, relegation and all that, like, league. I don't know. Like, I guess the fairest way would be, like, whoever qualifies this year, the top eight, Next year will be 
will be those people, but then people be crying because they didn't tell anybody about it or whatever. So maybe they have a tournament and then the top eight get into the league. Maybe they do road to finals next year and then the top eight get into the league. I mean, there's a lot of things, but again, the pinnacle of esports is League of Legends. That's it. And Dota. Dota and League. And then everybody else playing for second and third place. StarCraft. I don't know how I forgot about StarCraft. I'm sorry, StarCraft fans. So Dota League, StarCraft, games like that. But I just don't see NBA 2K really, really being that game. Like, I, I mean, it's probably going to be like the XFL. They're going to try it one time, and it's going to be it, – it's, it's not going to be successful. They're, just gonna, they're not going to do it again and to go back to the road to the finals uh, type of thing. Or maybe people will get behind it. But I think the conventional the, – the, the, the thing that a lot of people are thinking is, hey, people like basketball. So when basketball is over or when it's winding down, you know, the – the excitement for basketball will transcend this, but I can tell you this, my, my dad watched basketball, he don't give a fuck about no 2K. Why the hell play no damn 2K? And I don't think anybody, like it's a very small pocket of people that play this game. I don't have the numbers on how many players they have. I don't know what they told those people or what they fudged, but it ain't nothing like the people that actually support those esport leagues to where you can have um, different tournaments and stuff like that. Like they have 2K, Events and it's and it's barely like when they were like when the guys went up there to play the uh play 2k in, in that one place in uh Chicago man that damn thing wasn't even it was the, it, the arena wasn't even half field or whatever so I, I don't know man it is what it is I don't know how they're gonna do it I don't know how they're going to um how it's gonna play out I know two things like I said if you good you should be playing you know what I mean but I ain't good so Obviously, I ain't going to be playing. And probably the Saturday they're going to play is it's not going to be anything near what I make at my job as a computer, uh, you know, help desk technician. What, what the fuck am I am, man? Help desk manager. I'm just a jack of all trades, man. That's what I do at my job. But um, if the servers aren't stable, then why does it even matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe that was a test run when, when Road to the Finals was running so smoothly. And they were like, hey, look at this. Ain't nobody lagging out. But then you had people lagging out in the games that they televised and stuff like that. Maybe they just blamed it on, hey, that guy blagged out himself or whatever. I, I don't know, but there are a lot of unanswered questions, man. I feel like they're rushing it. I feel like they're pushing the square peg into a round hole where, where nobody cares about this stuff. Nobody cares about Road to the Finals, and they're just trying to force it on us and make people care about it and make this game. And that's why they did the archetype system. I told y'all that at the beginning of the year, they're doing it like League of Legends. They're making the archetype system for that. And everybody that plays the offline and single player mode, you just got to get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like those guys that do League of Legends and stuff, man, they, they play the game all day. They practice all day. They scrim because you can do private matches and stuff like that. You can't do that with this. I don't want to play the same bum ass team. I want to be able to play against another team that we can say, and all of us are communicating, or all of us are telling, you know, we can be in whatever, but I, I can tell them, hey, play this like this, and we're going to see what we can do. You want to scrim against people that are actually quality players and stuff like that, or you want to scrim against people that you want to scrim against. You don't want to have to just leave it up to chance to uh, to play against who you, you know, just I'm just going to play. We'll just play somebody. We'll try to match up at the same time. Like, that's not really going to work. So, I, like I said, there are a lot of things that they're going to have to change if they want to make this work. I don't see it working. I'll be honest with you. I don't think there's enough support from the scene. Um, you know, like I said, the top, top people have have uh, viewers and have all that, but everybody else is just fighting for scraps. So um, I don't know if there's just not that much interest in 2K. I don't know. You know, maybe I could be completely wrong. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But, I mean, I think the thing that cannot be argued is they need to be worried about the servers and game-breaking gameplay first. Once they get that done... Hey, do all the esports you want, baby. But you have to have a functional game in order to um you gotta have a functional game in order to 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 promote or to, to want to do esports. You do. You just do. And this game isn't there yet. Mechanically it's not there yet. And if you're making a game every year instead of just improving on and then giving us another addition or patching updates and stuff like that. It just ain't going to work, man. Anyway, I don't already talk too long, man. Y'all let me know. If you guys play League of Legends, y'all let me know. Like the people, I know there's people on here that play League of Legends, and they know that League is really the pinnacle of uh, of esports uh, and, and Dota and StarCraft and games like that that can actually fill arenas and all that. Those are world games. These This ain't a world game. 
I mean, basketball is a, is a world's game, but it's not the world's game. Hey, maybe FIFA or something can pull some shit like this off, but this game, nah. I don't see it, man. But um, I'm wrong all the time. I've been wrong before, so maybe they will do it. But like I said, if you're the best of the best, and you claim that you're the best of the best, your ass better be on one of these teams. That's all I can say. That's all I, all I can tell people, man. If you if you claim you're the best of the best, better see y'all ass on one of these teams. That's it. So all the goats that be hitting me up, hey, Jay, we beat you, hey, we did this, I'm going to see y'all on these teams, right? It's going to be eight of them. You know, I'm going to see y'all out there. That's what I'm saying. Y'all the best of the best, baby. Let's get this thing done. Anyway, I'm fucking with y'all, man. I really couldn't care about less about being good at a video game or or any of that stuff. It's just mind-boggling that they try to do something like this, uh, an undertaking such as this, without having any um stable service. But it is what it is, folks. I'm gone. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all let me know what you guys think, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And I'm about to finish watching Faker today. 360 out this smoke.